yeah, we typically focus more on the beyond than, than 2014. Um, I think it's very important that investors do take a long-term view. There's a lot of volatility in asset markets, and the only way you can actually get through that and get your mind around it is, is taking a long-term view. Um, I think if you look at the broad, broad views, um, starting with interest rates, we think interest rates should go higher in the medium term. Uh, we think interest rates are more competitive than being over the last 30, 40 years, particularly in global markets, but that's going to have an impact on, on South Africa. Um, so we don't own any government bonds at, the, at these current levels. Our portfolios are, are what we call short on duration, and we've got very little interest rate risk. Um, if you take it to the next uh, asset class, which is property, um, we think property companies typically are overvalued. We don't own any property companies. Um, we think that they're trading at quite large um, multiples to what we think are the underlying asset values. Um, and so we'll be a bit more cautious on properties, particularly as interest rates rise, which will provide something of a, of a headwind for, for the property sector. Um, in terms of equities, we're still finding good opportunities. We're finding fewer opportunities than we were um, you know, sort of two, two to three years ago. And the opportunities we're finding are more in, a lot of them are in the mid-cap space where you know, PSG Asset Management has an opportunity, opportunity to invest in because our, I guess our asset base is, is, is a lot smaller than some of our large peers. And I think that's going to be a very, very fertile ground uh, for, for future returns. Uh, we're finding opportunities in the more in the, the domestic, well, the cyclical companies that are listed in, in South Africa, companies like Anglo American and, and, and Steinhoff. I think um, we, we you know, are in our top 10 in our conviction holdings. If we, you know, our focal point in terms of global equity, uh, global markets is typically in the equity space. Um, you know, we've been quite positive on global equities for a number of years, and that, that view continues into the future. We're still finding good opportunities, predominantly in developed markets, uh, Europe and the US. Um, you know, companies like Microsoft, uh, Cisco, IBM in the old tech space. I mean, Europe, you know, cyclical companies like Porsche. You know, Europe is just coming out of. What is arguably, which has been one of the longest recessions on record. Uh, we think earnings are low, uh, valuations are still attractive, and that gives us you know, confidence that um, you know, we're buying companies with a large margin of safety and, and a good opportunity set. So, you know, our funds are actually, our domestic funds are fully invested in offshore equities. Um, our process is a global process, so we, we, we like to look at uh, um, you know, opportunities holistically and we try and find the best opportunities for our, our investors. So our domestic funds are you know, fully invested offshore and our global funds are, are, finding, are finding good opportunities. We don't try and time markets, and I think that's you know, the question, you know, is sometimes it's a difficult one to answer. Um, we don't typically try and time markets. Um, you know, we like to look over three to five years, and you know, there are attractive opportunities, as I, as I have mentioned. Uh, in the short-term parts of the market, and cash markets, you know, corporate credit, I think there's some good opportunities. So the first-time investor, um, you know, we would have exposure to equities, and we, should, we would have exposure to, um, you know, offshore equities. Um, and, you know, and I think, you know, if you look at our asset allocation, we have you know, quite a large amounts of firepower, we're sitting with quite a bit of cash. Um, you know, if you give assets to us, we would be able to allocate that across the, the curve of opportunities.